ever get so laser focused on a goal that you totally miss out on you know, actually enjoying the process of getting there. Oh, absolutely. Like I was planning this whole backpacking trip a while back, right? Uh -huh. Obsessed with conquering this one peak, totally forgot to appreciate the scenery along the way. Yeah, I feel. And it reminded me of this piece you sent over, uh, what was it called? Yichishu, really got me thinking. Interesting. So let's, uh, let's deep dive into this whole idea, finding joy in the journey, not just the outcome. Love that. What's so fascinating about this concept is it's connection to mindfulness. Right. It's about being present in each moment, not constantly projecting ourselves into the future, consumed by the end goal. Totally. And the text uses this great analogy of learning to ride a bike. Remember that. The wind in your hair, the focus it took to balance, those little victories along the way. Exactly. The sensory details, the feeling of accomplishment after a tumble. If we're just fixated on reaching the destination, we miss all those little things that make the experience so rich. Absolutely. And it's not just about <laughs> physical things, right? The text also talks about this artist, Ben. He's struggling with perfectionism in his work. Ah, yes, Ben. His story is a great example of how this pressure to succeed, to be perfect, can actually hinder us from enjoying the process. And don't we all feel that pressure sometimes? Oh, in all areas of life, right? Yeah. But for Ben, it was really affecting his art. He was so focused on creating this perfect piece that he wasn't even enjoying the act of creating anymore. So how did he break free from that? What helped him shift his mindset? He started focusing on the joy in each brushstroke. The texture of the paint, the way the colors blended together on the canvas. He found pleasure in the process itself. And that changed things for him. He began to create art that was more authentic, more fulfilling. That's incredible, just by changing his focus. It makes sense if you think about it, right? When we let go of that need for perfection, we open ourselves up to more creativity, we reduce anxiety. And we can actually, you know, enjoy what we're doing. <laughs> but how can our listeners apply this to their own lives? What are some tangible steps they can take? Well, one thing that helps is breaking down large tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. So instead of being overwhelmed by the enormity of the overall goal, you find those little bursts of joy in completing each milestone along the way. I love that. Celebrate the small wins, right? It's like instead of this massive mountain to climb, it's a series of scenic trails. Exactly. And another thing, gratitude. Take a moment to appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow. Even the challenges, those bumps in the road, they become part of the journey. So it's not about like lowering our standards right. or giving up on our goals. It's about, it's about really being present in the experience, finding those moments of joy in the actual doing, yeah, you know? Exactly. It's about understanding that the journey itself is just as important as the destination. I love that. So for our listeners out there, think about this. What's one thing you can approach differently starting today to bring a little more joy into your process? What a great question to ponder. Food for thought. Thanks for diving into this with me. Absolutely. Enjoy those journeys.